With the ark finished, Noah felt a little relieved, but he was still worried about how he would carry out God's will. He had no idea how he would find the animals and get them in the ark. Noah's wife understood that. Noah was worried and came to Noah to make him feel better. What happened, Noah? I don't know, Nama. It's just so sad to know that this flood will destroy everything. All those people. That is God's will, Noah. It is surely for the good. Otherwise, God would not have done this. You are a good man, Noah. That's why you worry so much. And that's why God chose you for this task. And these animals. I have no clue as to how I'm going to find all these animals to get on the ark. You have put your faith in God and carried out His will so far. Why worry now? He will find a way. Come on, I've made some soup that should cheer you up. You're absolutely right, Nama. God will find a way. What is it, Japheth? What's wrong? What happened? Where are your brothers? Father, father, we may have some guests. As God had promised, he had summoned all the animals and brought them to the ark. There were animals of all sizes and shapes, insects, birds. All of them were calm and walking in an orderly fashion, much to the delight and amazement of Noah and his family. God, you are truly great. Thank you for showing me this miracle. Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry? Noah and his sons then led all the animals into the ark and made sure that all the animals were led to their proper place. All the animals were peaceful and calm. Once all the animals were led in and accounted for, Noah heard a distant sound of thunder and God spoke to him. Noah! It is time. You and your family must now get into the ark and shut its door. Yes, my lord. Me and my family are thankful for everything you have done for us. And so the rains started. For 40 days and 40 nights, it rained. The ark was swept away and started its journey. It rained so heavily that the water rose higher than the highest mountains on the earth. For months and months, the ark kept sailing. Although Noah and his family were sometimes frightened, they believed that God would keep them safe, and they were safe. Father, how much longer will we have to be in the ark? I don't know, son. Maybe a couple of months more. It has been so long since you have seen any light. I'm getting tired of this ark. Have faith, my son. The Lord has been protecting us to this day. Have faith in Him, and you will not feel tired. After a couple of months, Noah decided to check how the weather was outside. It was a clear day, but he couldn't see anything but water all around. Father, how will we know if we are near dry land? Hmm, that's right, son. Let me think. Oh yes, I have an idea. Noah released a crow outside. He thought if there was dry land nearby, the crow would bring something to show for it. After a couple of days, he sent a dove, but it returned empty-handed. Noah's family was now sad. They were tired of the ark and the animals. This time, Noah waited a couple of weeks more and then sent the dove again. I hope this bird brings us good news. I believe it will, Nama. This time, the dove returned with an olive branch and Noah was overjoyed. See this, my sons? This means we are very close to land. Our journey is going to end finally. Finally, after a few days, the water goes away and the ark stops moving and rests on the top of a mountain. God then appeared to Noah. 
Noah, you have obeyed me and kept your faith in me. You and your family are now safe. You may release all the animals now. You can live on this earth with your family for a long time. You will have many, many children and grandchildren and live a long and happy life with your family. Go in peace, Noah. You have kept us safe from everything and protected us from the terrible floods. Me and my family will always live by your commands and serve you until we die. I promise to never flood the earth again. As a symbol of this promise, I give you this rainbow. And so, Noah and his family lived for many, many years in happiness and cheer. They had many children and grandchildren and they all served God to the end of their lives.